Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Olympus E-Place 7 and Olympus E-Place 6. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Olympus E-Place 7 and the Olympus E-Place 6 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 1st of September 2014 and the 1st of August 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Olympus E-Place 7. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Olympus E-Place 6. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Olympus E-Place 7 and the Olympus E-Place 6. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Olympus E-Place 7. And here are some sample photos from the Olympus E-Place 6. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Olympus E-Place 7. The E-Place 7 is a fantastic camera with great image quality and portability. The kit lens is versatile and the additional lenses are also excellent. The camera has many customizable features and the Wi-Fi support works well. However, the lack of an optical viewfinder and built-in flash are drawbacks. Overall, it's a great compact camera for everyday use and professional photography. I keep the camera with the 14 to 42 EZ pancake zoom in my bag everywhere I go. It's a compact and easy to use camera with great image quality, a lot of features, and the ability to use a smartphone for remote control. However, it lacks a viewfinder and is not ideal for action photography. The menu system is complicated and it only has one control dial, the video quality is limited to 1080p, and the kit zoom makes images a bit soft in the corner. Overall, it's a capable camera for the price but may not be the best for beginners. Here's what people have to say about the Olympus E-Place 6. I recently upgraded from my beloved Olympus E-Place 1 to the E-Place 6. At first, I was disappointed with the smaller size and lack of built-in flash, but my initial review was based on a defective camera. After receiving a replacement, I am thrilled with the improved low-light performance, faster autofocus, and higher quality video. The E-Place 6 is a great deal at great for the price, especially with the optional large grip. The three-way stabilization is actually just a two-way system, but the kit zoom lens takes great pictures. The flip-up LCD screen is convenient, and it's a steal for $300. If you need a viewfinder, go for the Olympus OMD EM10 instead. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Olympus E-Place 7. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Olympus E-Place 6. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.